recording financial information and now we are going to learn through a work example that how do we record financial information in accounting equation but before i start i'll ask you please confirm that you are having your notepad your calculator and writing devices with you the pen or pencil please be ready so transaction 1 of this accounting equation is henry started business named micrologics by introducing capital 45000 in cash so here comes henry and bringing cash in the business well so henry is bringing cash in the business this cash 45000 is an asset for the business entity and at the same time it is representing owner's equity in the business remember one thing that henry is the sole owner of this business which is a sole proprietorship business and also by following the business entity concept this micro logics is a business having separate entity apart from this owner so this owner and micro logics are two separate entities we will not consider this transaction as a transaction coming from the henry and we are looking into that it is henry's cash outflow or something coming from henry's home or something coming from henry's bank rather we will see that this is in fact the transaction in which we are having cash again see henry is bringing this cash into the business so cash is coming as an asset and representing owner's equity in the entity therefore are these two sides are equal let's see second transaction in second transaction micrologic is purchasing furniture by making payment in cash 20000 so cash is being paid to buy furniture it's a continuity of our example so first transaction we can see is here and because of the second transaction we are taking cash out of our resources of 45000 which will reduce it to 4 Twenty-five thousand and twenty thousand furniture is there. So once again, we had forty-five thousand with us from Henry's capital in terms of cash. We are utilizing this cash to buy furniture. So furniture is increasing and cash is decreasing at the same side. so our equation is still equal 25 plus 20 equals to 45 both sides of the equation are equal transaction number 3 micrologics purchased a computer for 28000 by paying 8000 in cash and signing a promissory note agreement with supplier for 20000 so here see that in the continuity of these two transactions that we had previously with us yes concentrate on these three points we are making payment of cash 8000 so cash will decrease with 8000 and we will be having 17900 with us then we are buying computer its value is 28000 increasing in computer and at the same time we have signed a document against which there is an increase in our bills payable our liability so just see once again that cash is being reduced computer is increasing and bills payable is also increasing both sides are equal if you do make total 
of both sides, what do you see that 65,000 equals to 65,000. Your calculators should be ready. Okay. Now, transaction four. Micrologics entered into a transaction of buying stocks or inventory of 1,350 and agreed to pay the supplier in near future. Means it's a credit transaction based on an invoice and this is an agreement. Okay. So, the thing is that we are buying stock. It is increasing our asset side. At the same time, it is increasing our liabilities. So, increase on the both sides. So, we see if you will make total of these two sides, you will see that both sides are equal. 66,350. 66,350. Okay? Well, let's focus on the next transaction. During its first month of operations, Micrologix provided services to customers earning fee of Rs. 7,500 and receiving amount in cash. So, it's a cash transaction. Okay? And in the continuity of the previous transactions, now we see that 7,500 increase in cash is happening because of 7,500 increase in revenue. We already know that our incomes minus expenses produce profit. So, it is in fact increasing profit. When we are having an income with us, it will be increasing our profit. So, simply saying that this 7,500 which we are earning from the customer as a fee in terms of cash is increasing our cash and also increasing our profits. Well, the next transaction is for Micrologics, the expenses paid during the month were as follows. We have paid for wages, paid for rent, paid for utility bills, and paid for miscellaneous expenses. Well, so if you make total of these four expenses, it is 3,650. So, since we are making payment, payment means cash will decrease, and we are making payment for expenses. These are the expenses by virtue of the recognition criteria, these wages, rent, utilities, and miscellaneous expenses are recognized as expense, and this will reduce our profit. Again, the equation is that income minus expense is equal to profit. That's why this expense is reducing our profits. Well, so the next transaction is Micrologics paid, again paid, 950 to its creditors. When we are saying paid, it means that we are making payment in cash. Remember, we are making payment of our liability. This was our liability. And we are making payment of 950, which is reducing our liability to 400. And this is 950, which is re reducing our cash. So, Payment of 950 to creditors is reducing our creditors and is reducing our cash. Here we go. Okay. And the next transaction is during the month, Micrologics sold out stock. We are selling stock, which was costing us 800 and we are selling it for 1200 on credit terms, earning a profit of 400. Simply, 1200 minus 800 is equal to 400. So, you see, these are the sales. And you can observe that 800 we are subtracting from stock. This is 800 that we are subtracting from stock. 
400 is our profit. We are increasing our profit. And this 1200 is in fact our accounts receivable. So accounts receivable or debtor is our asset. Concentrate once again on this transaction. It's important. We had a stock of 800 cost that we sold on credit terms for 1200 which is giving us a profit of 400. So the thing is that profit is increasing. It's part of owner's equity. Our receivables are increasing. It's part of asset and our stocks are reducing assets are reducing. Again, you will see that both sides, when you will make total, are equal. Exactly, 100% equal. Well, so in this transaction, at the end of month, Henry decided to withdraw 2,000 cash from the business for personal use. And here we go, that 2,000 Withdrawing 2,000. So withdrawing 2,000 cash from business for personal use. So this 2,000 is reducing our cash as well as it is reducing our owner's equity. Out of the profits, Henry is withdrawing 2,000. So it is reducing cash as well as it is reducing owner's equity. So the important tips that we have to remember are... Each transaction brings a change in accounting equation. This is what we observed, that each transaction is bringing a change in equation. Next, incomes earned cause increase in owner's equity. And expenses incurred, they cause decrease in owner's equity. ITTR means that you have to remember these forever. And increase in resources may result because of increase in sources or decrease in an other resource. I trust you learned a lot from this example. Thank you.